morning everybody and welcome to the blog. I am about to start a little Melissa Wood Health Pilates class and then I need to get my butt moving because I have a friend coming over and I need to get her room done and all that jazz. She's coming to spend a couple of days with me because Trist is in Greece. So by the time you watch this, he'll be back. So she's coming to keep me company for a couple of days. I wanted to do a little bit of an acne update or acne recovery update. And at the minute, there is literally nothing in here. Just profiting from being barefaced for my workout, and I wanted to share that with you. But there are some hyperpigmentation marks left over, so the treatment's working really well. I think I'm on to week eight now, if I'm not mistaken. I will have to double check that on my agenda later. So far, so good. Honestly, there's no more acne, so I'm really, really happy with how different it's been working if you're interested in that i'll leave the video linked in here so you can watch that and know how i got rid of acne i guess now the next step on this series is going to have to be how i got rid of the hyperpigmentation smart hyperpigmentation marks left after acne I'm about to get in my workout and then i'm gonna go buy some stuff because tonight i'm doing a little bit of a mexican night so i'm gonna do some cocktails i'm gonna do some quesadillas some stuff like that that's gonna be fun and then go pick her up at the station. I was hoping I can film a little get ready with me video, but that might be just a whole other video because I have some new stuff from Victoria Beckham and I had actually filmed a whole like get ready with me to go to the Guns N' Roses concert. The footage from that was completely damaged. I'm gonna have to refilm it so I can show you some of my new favorite beauty products because I've fallen head over heels for some of this new Victoria Beckham goodies. So I'm gonna see if I can film that on this vlog. If not, I'll make like a whole separate video for it so you can see like in depth how they play off etc etc let's get my day started just finished my workout and oh my goodness i did a killer abs routine i can tell you it was a killer but i love it i've been only doing the melissa wood health site for about a week and i've been loving it you kind of have to imagine as if it was an online gym at first you have like a little questionnaire it's a really quick one and they're going to ask like are you more interested in yoga or in pilates or Maybe in like toning your abs or just get yourself moving because you weren't moving for a while. How many times a week do you do sports? I said, well, I do sports maybe four to five times a week. I love doing a good ballet class with Mani Alton. And I used to like find snippets of Melissa Wood Health and from time to time I would try them but I never really committed to signing up to her side. Up until about a week ago, I was like, do you know what? Let's give this a go. And honestly, I've been loving it. So you tune in, you have either like a weekly schedule created for you in which there's all these different teachers teaching all these different classes. By schedule, I mean like there's something for your Monday, for your Tuesday, for your Wednesday, but it's not like you need to tune in at a certain time. Although there are live classes, but there are also pre-recorded classes. You're just gonna sign in there and do whichever you feel like. And then on that same schedule, you can find if you wanna do beginners level, intermediate or advanced or hard or expert or something like that. I always go for the intermediate or the expert one. Not that you need to know that, <laughs> but I like to give myself a little bit of a push. I've been really, really enjoying it. There's like some lovely body flows mixed in with yoga and Pilates movements. There's um, some really nice series, like say you wanna do like a one week killer abs series, or you wanna do like a one week arms. So sometimes I'll do like a whole body flow or like a whole body tone up and then I'll complement that the next day with something just for the arms or just for the abs. So today I've done the one that's just for the abs because the rest of the week I was just doing like the flows and the um, whole body tone up stuff. So I wanted something a little bit more specific for abs today. It's raining so much today, you cannot even believe it. But I think there's no thunder, so at least I can take an umbrella. <laughs> I am just finishing to get my makeup ready so I can go pick up Isa. I didn't have time to wash my hair, that's okay. Because I've got a new product actually, a Rave Dry Texturizing Spray. You might have seen me using it on TikTok. It's more of a dry texturizing spray that you're supposed to use on like clean hair. I have tried it as a dry shampoo product and it's worked. I'm just adding the same bronzer that I'm gonna use on my cheeks on kind of like the crease of my eye to give myself a little bit of that depth. It's a very like rainy day, so I think it's gonna be cute if I do a little bit of more autumnal makeup for the day. 
I'm not fake tan today, so I need to like not go overboard, which is always a little bit hard. Um, but I feel like my makeup application has been smoother, if that makes sense. I feel like my makeup now just like glides on my skin, thanks to doing the anti-acne treatment. It's also corrected the whole skin texture. And voila! Half of my face is all bronzed up already. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever, you guys. What's been going on lately? Let me see. So husband's gone to Greece on his yearly peregrination with his business school friends. I've just been busy with work. So let's see a little bit about what's on today's agenda. I'm going to take Isa to the fish market. I think that's going to be super fun because they've got fresh fish in there. So we're going to go to a neighboring city that's called Trouville. They kind of have like all this fish outside. It's not really fish, it's more like seafood that they'll have outside. Like you can get lobster or oysters or stuff like that and then they'll serve it out there and it's really rainy but they've recently put this kind of like semi roof i don't know and you can just sit out there and have some wine and chat with your friends and eat some oysters which is a fun thing to do when you're by the sea isn't it i feel like whoever comes to visit us at least one of their meals we always take them there because it's just part of the whole experience of um, being by the beach. Right now it's kind of like the calm before the storm. Fashion month is about to start. The hecticity that awaits. I just I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I've accepted so many <laughs> invitations and this is and that but it's fun. I get to do some fun interviews. I'm actually going to be working a lot with Stanley's magazine. I have a lot of nice selections done for personal styling clients. So it's going to be a fun month, but it's going to be one of those that's exhausting as well. I'm just using this eyeshadow stick by Charlotte Tilbury and I actually use it as an eyeliner with a little brush. Let's take care of this hair. Okay. My goodness, it smells so good. I'm obsessed. It's become literally one of my favorites. It's kind of like perfume for your hair. So nice. And to be fair, my hair is going to get wet anyway today because there's so much rain outside. It doesn't make sense that I do it. <laughs> no, at least it smells nice. There we go. I'm not going to leave it with that much volume. Do a little bit of a bun situation for today. Um, so I'm just going to quickly grab it there. Just like a low pony. Quickly tie it like that and I'm gonna bring over a little silk bun hugger from last year's TSD collection. So this is the bun. The TSD label's not there because it's mine and in France we say there's no worse person that's shooed as a cobbler. If that makes sense? It makes sense to me. So that will add a little bit of light to the face and just cover it in there. So I think that looks cute. I think that's what I'll do. For today's little hairstyle, I'm going to add, probably going to put it like that to the side. I just like this one. I think it adds a little bit of that extra light from the side and I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments so I know for next time. Now let's grab Grandma's ring. I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to do much jewelry today. Now it's time for me to hurry up, go to the station, pick up Isa. I need to get a coat. It looks like it's getting really, really cold. I might go for like a sleeveless but long coat or something like that. I need something comfy, definitely, so I can bring you. I don't know if I'm going to be taking my vlogging camera. Do you know what? Let's pack my bag together. This is the bag I'm going to be carrying today. It's my new long shampoo, which you will have seen me unbox in here already. So it's going to be this little baby. I think that video review is going up tonight. So that's what I'm going to be using. It's one of those like mini or micro bags that it does fit your phone. And that's why I love it so much. I'm going to grab, actually, this is like my pictures phone and then i'm gonna grab my wallet i'm gonna take my keys and a little lipstick from chanel which i've actually not purchased yet so this one is 174 destination and i really really like it i don't have a mirror here <laughs> maybe we can do the little phone mirror trick also because i need to like leave the door right now if i want to be on time at the station Okay, I think that will do. I have taken out the scarf and I might just carry it like hanging on my bag and then if I actually need it later, I can wear it if I want to. 
but I thought it was a bit too much gold with like the scarf ring and the jewelry I'm wearing today. So that's that. I think this is so cute. I'm not one to really go for this crossbody bags normally, but for this one, I really, really like it because it doesn't like cut boob area like some other ones do. Like Mini Kelly will do that for me sometimes. It depends how much stuff I put on it, but this one doesn't. So I'm happy about that. And I think that will be it. Let's rush down to pick a visa. everybody i'm exhausted we had the loveliest night yesterday we met some cocktails we made mexican food it was delicious had a lovely sort of ladies night in we had really delicious dessert that is abroad from a patissiere in paris that we both really really love now the plan for today is to just get ourselves ready my hair's washed already i just need to you know fix this tiredness of the face a little bit although it might be just like one of those just tinted SPF days we're probably gonna go shopping at Pantamp there's this kind of like new concept I did show you the opening for it I'll leave that video linked in here in case you want to see like what it looks like inside but it's basically done as a concept store and it's the only place in the Ville that will have like more young emerging designers or just like not your classic luxury designers but still luxury designers if that makes sense so we're gonna sh go shopping there and then before that we're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants in here it's called Le Plange it's like classic Italian cuisine and I'm really feeling like cacio e pepe today because it looks like it's gonna rain a lot so we need something cozy we can um, probably get some bellinis before. So yeah, just gonna go ahead, get ready, finish my coffee and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, 